Hi, and welcome to Biostock Studio, where today we will get a presentation from Spermasense and CEO Ulrik Nilsson. Welcome, Ulrik. Thank you, Cecilia. I'm here to present Spermasense to you. My name is Ulrik Nilsson, and I'm the CEO of Spermasense. The World Health Organization estimates that more than 48 million couples around the world are affected by infertility. Historically, the male factor has not been looked upon as much, even though it contributes equally as the female factor. Unfortunately, less than one out of five fertility treatments succeed. Sperm diagnostics today are largely focusing on the physical aspects. Count, morphology and motility. During natural fertilization, sperms are creating a binding with the unfertilized egg. No binding, no fertilization. Spermasense's technology mimics nature, testing sperm's binding capacity using the power of biotechnology and electrochemistry. The Judas checked system consists of an instrument and a cassette. Samples are applied on the biosensors. An analysis is performed in 10 minutes. And then a junior score is presented. Juno Checked will help decision making during assisted reproduction. By using Juno Checked early in the process, additional information is generated. Information which is expected to improve the decision making between different treatments, ultimately leading to better results. Spermasense technology will be a game changer, personalizing and improving the choice of most suitable treatment. We believe Junochect will lead to fewer treatments for the couples, shorter waiting time for treatment, thereby improving quality of life. For clinics, it will provide a competitive advantage and reduced costs for all. Given the large medical need, the global market for IVF is large. In 2021, it was valued to 22 billion US dollar and is projected to grow annually with 6% till 2030. Globally, more than 3 million cycles are performed annually, with an average sales price for our cassette of 200 US dollar. The global market potential for spermacense is estimated to more than 600 million US dollars. This is Fredrik Andreasson, the CEO of Seattle Sperm Bank. Seattle Sperm Bank is a world-leading US-based sperm bank with international presence. They are selling about 20,000 donations annually. The need of our product is confirmed by partners such as Seattle Sperm Bank. We are developing a unique product and have made significant progress, passing several milestones. Patent protection has been granted on several key markets until 2039. Proof of concept for manufacturing has been demonstrated. We have already established a quality management system and we have identified partners together with whom we have built the plan forward. It's a five-step plan. First step is the delivery of generation one of the product for research use. Second step is the delivery of generation two of the product and reaching design freeze. This will be followed by step three, verification and validation of the junior checked system for certifications and collecting data to support our claims. Step four involves design transfer and preparation to produce the first approved product for general use in IVF clinics around the world. 
And then finally, step five, involving completing the documentation required by regulatory authorities and applying for certifications. Once approved, the unit checked system is certified for diagnostic use. We will approach the market starting with RUO sales, research use only, which then evolve into diagnostic sales. Throughout the process, we will increase the knowledge from usage in the field. We will increase available scientific data from studies. We will work with key opinion leaders, mapping leading IVF clinics, aim to give customers a positive user experience and facilitate increased usage. RUO Generation 1 launch will be done in close cooperation with selected IVF clinics and Seattle Sperm Bank. We will stay focused on few selected customers. RUO Generation 2 Increasing the sales with established customers. Increase the number of IVF clinics in Scandinavia. Launch outside Scandinavia in selected clinics in the Euro top four. Then diagnostic sales. Having established a presence through the REO sales, we will transform REO sales into diagnostic sales. Expand usage with already existing REO customers. Increase the number of IVF clinics in markets already sold to. And establish sales channels to handle diagnostic sales. The company is led by an experienced board. Evan Ilsagard, chairman of the board, is a highly respected board professional. Kush Punyani is the founder of the company and also our chief scientific officer. Christina Estberg Lloyd is the senior vice president and global head of reproductive medicine at Faring. Ingela Liljekvist Saltik is the chief embryologist and unit manager at Reproductive Medicine Center in Malmö. Søren Melsing Fredriksen serves as the Vice President Product Development and Commercial at Orifarm Healthcare. And we have an advisory board consisting of professors from within Scandinavia, with a strong presence in the IVF community. We have established an experienced team, having the key competences required, and we're located in the Medican village, part of the life science cluster. Thank you for your attention and back to you, Cecilia. Thank you so much, Ulrik, for that very interesting presentation. And uh, well, let's move on to some questions. I was thinking about this CE marking. What do you need to do before that is achieved? We have established a quality organization. We have a quality management system in place. We are now following a strict five-step plan, reaching design freeze, which we will do delivering generation two. We are ready to move into validation and verification. Post validation and verification, we move into design transfer. And post that, we are ready to submit material to notified bodies. The material, the technical file, is gathered throughout the development process. So it's not something that we're starting now. It's been going on for a while. And looking at the development process, would it be possible to shorten the time by carrying out these steps in parallel rather than sequentially? No. The plan where we have built is sequential. That's a very short and clear answer. Yeah. Well, let's move on to IP mm -hmm. protection then. Can you expand a little bit um, on that, what it looks like for Spermasense? Yeah. We started out uh, receiving the patent protection for, for Europe, and it's been validated for 16 countries, key markets in Europe. We received the granted patent in South Africa. We have received it for Hong Kong and also Japan, which is one of the three biggest markets in the world. And yeah, I'm glad you mentioned the word markets there because that's what my final question is about. Like you said, this is a huge global market. I think you said 22 billion US dollars annually. How do you plan to position yourself on such a large market? The market is, is really big, as you say. We're talking about more than 3 million cycles annually around the world. Breaking it down, 20,000 cycles approximately are done in Sweden. Selling 8,000 disposables annually 
will take us to cash flow positive. Well, we look forward to following Spermacent's journey towards a positive cash flow and uh, thank you so much for coming. Thank you for having me.